Hi everyone, it's Crystal from Crystal's Crafts and Stuff.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to be making a birthday card using the Creator Critter Cricker cartridge. Now I already have my paper cut out, laid out, um, my Cricut is all ready to go. And I'm going to be cutting out the cat today that is on page 38 in the handbook. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to cut out this layer in the brown. So, and I'm going to try this at two and three quarters and I'm going to see how that turns out so go ahead and push my button which is right there and press cut okay and that looks about good so now next step I'm going to do is cut out layer one and I'm going to do that in the um Uh, like the gray color over here so then all I got to do with that one is just hit layer one and then the cat and you can always double check in your display box to make sure it's the correct image which it is and I move my cut there or my size so let me go ahead and, and after you do that go ahead and press cut Okay, now what we're going to do is go down to the pink. And then I'm going to press layer 2. And then the cat again. And then cut. And that's going to cut out the little nose and the tie. And then I'm going to go down a little bit. And I also want to cut out the yarn that goes with it. So I'm going to take my layers off and I'm going to press shift and then the cat again. And it'll tell you in your display box yarn. I'm going to try this at two and... Okay. This might be too big for my project. It might not. I might have to get. <coughs> yeah. Actually, I'm going to stop that right now because I already know it's going to be too big. So let me go ahead and get another piece. Oops. Of pink card stock here real quick. Let me load paper. And I'm going to go all the way down to where my pink is. And that looked like I was cutting it real big. So I'm only going to do like an inch and a half. So hit my shift and then my cat. And I hit the wrong button. So shift, cat, yarn. And I did this one at an inch and a half, so we'll see. Okay. Alright, now let's go ahead and get the card assembled. Okay, now that we got everything cut out from the Cricut, we're going to go ahead and assemble our cat. Sometimes when you um, use your Cricut, the... Um, You'll have to go through and just poke out all these little holes sometimes. Especially on, um, I notice smaller projects. Just when you have to do that. But, like, I had to do it with my yarn ball here. So, so let's go ahead and put the cat together. Really, really simple to do this. I'm going to get out my zig here. And just... Actually, oops. Oh, I 
I messed that one up. I think I might have to get a new zig pen here. And go ahead and line it up with the bottom piece. Really simple to do. Whoops. Okay. And then we can put the the bow on okay, just put some zig on that and then the little heart for the nose which goes right up above there Very, very simple. Okay, now that we got our cat put together, let's go ahead and get our card put together. Um, this is my card stock, and all what I had did was take an eight and a half by eleven, and a, an eight and a half by eleven sheet of card stock, and I cut it in half, and that gives you the measurements of being eight and a half by five and a half. Very, very simple. So that's my card base. So then I have another color that I'm going to put on top of it. It's going to be like that. And this is cut at um, five and a quarter by three, a little bit over three and a half. Okay, and then this one here, I'm going to put that on the card to go like this. And this is cut out at... One and a half by four and a quarter. So let's go, and I'm going to be using this ribbon. Okay, now I'm just trying to decide whether how I want my ribbon on here. Do I want it to go on here like this, or do I want it on here like this? And I think I'm going to go with this way. Okay, so to do this, this is going to be a little bit complicated, or not complicated, but just a little bit more work because how I got this all set up. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive. down there and I'm going to lay this down how I would want this to sit on here and these are feathers that got caught on here from my last project and then just sort of that lined up that way that's why when I pull this off it'll be like that so let's go ahead and get the ribbon on and let me snip a piece off of here and I'm using the cheater method with this so um,
Everything is always about placing. Where you want this at? Where you want that at? And that's always what seems to take the most time for me. So I'm going to put it right here. Flip this over. Okay, once you got that down, it looks pretty good. So we're going to put... Some ATG. On there now. And go ahead and get our card. Okay, go down just like that. Then we're gonna get some of he get some uh, adhesive down on the cat. Okay. And actually, I didn't want to put adhesive on it. I wanted to pop dot it. So that's okay since I already got that on there. Go ahead and get a couple pop dots on here. And go ahead and get the tabs taken off. And put the cat down. go and then get the ball of yarn on here okay now that we got the card all assembled and put together I want to go ahead and put a uh, stamp on it so I'm using this from hero arts and it's the happiness message collection and we used to have and I will be using the memento tuxedo black And I just do it this way. Okay, make sure you have it lined up to where you want it. Press down and back up. I wanted to use some stickles on here. So I'm using the diamond stickles for the eyes. nose and the ears and the whiskers okay and then I'm gonna use the cotton candy stickles and I'm gonna put some on the heart In the bow and the yarn ball very simple okay and there you have it. A very simple and easy quick birthday card for somebody. So I want to thank everyone for watching and have a great day. Thank you.